this video, I'm going to show you how to add annotation in the drawing. So I'm going to create a drawing for this uh, wall and you will notice that this wall has some uh, groove and also some uh, embeds here, this loop bar, okay, but this loop bar is made of a, uh, a poly beam, steel poly beam. Okay, so let's create the uh, drawing first. So from here, I'm going to uh, create the drawing, cast unit drawing, and go to the uh, do document manager, and open the cast unit drawing. At the moment, what I use is the default uh, uh, setting of the drawing, wherein you can see the, uh, the default dimensions, and uh, you can see also there's no annotation on the loop bar. Okay, so let's isolate this view. Right. And then uh, maybe I'll just uh, change this one to black by pressing B. And I'm going to remove the dimensions. So just uh, open the uh, view properties. And in the dimensioning, I will just simply remove the default dimensions here, delete row, and then modify. Okay. So um, <clears throat> now for the annotation, um, this loop bar, actually I can simply uh, select one by one and right click and then add mark and using property views so using property views you can uh, select what content you want to show in this loop bar let's say if I let's say name just simply add and then modify and then you can see that one is the name or you can change that one to the part position And then modify so that one will be the uh, part position so that's one way of adding the uh, annotation on this loop bar the other way is just simply uh, uh, opening the view properties and from the uh, view properties go to the part mark and here you can see that there is a, uh, a sub assembly main part because uh, this loop bar is the sub assembly of this uh, wall so I can just simply select sub-assembly of main part and then uh, select the uh, user defined attributes because I'm going to choose only the uh, prefix of this uh, loop bar simply add and then here the UDA will be prefix just type capital letter prefix then click modify and modify again Sorry, let's go to this one. Always visible. Change this uh, uh, type. Make an arrow. And then change this one to two. Modify. Now, as you can see, you have the uh, um, annotation for the uh, loop bar. To make this one on the proper positioning, so what we can do here is just simply select the loop bar or loop bar mark. Let's say that one and this. And then, uh, look, if you notice here, I can select all the marking and then position it. But in 2019, we have this uh, uh, option to align mark. I simply align to a point so if I click this one and then pick the position so as you can see here I can just simply position it properly so going back to the colored mode so select this one align to position point so as you notice here it's quite um, as you can see here it will uh, arrange properly the position that we like and it's very easy just simply select all the mark align to a point 
and there you go or you can just simply move that one if you want to bend it and everything will be moved accordingly so just simply select so if you notice here I started from the middle So, nicely done. Okay. Uh, if you want to, uh, to present that one in different way, let's say without a leader line. So, what you can do here is just simply double click again on the uh, view, view properties or open again the view properties. And then from the part mark, okay, from the part mark under the uh, sub assembly mark. So, this one. Just simply select this option, the type, this type. Just simply modify and then it will be without the uh, leader line. Okay. So if you want to place that one again, you can just simply select and then just simply move. So no need to use the alignment, but uh, you can just simply, by the way, you can, you can select everything and then move select move, and then this one select and move so this is how you add the uh, annotation on this uh, loop bar okay and of course if you want to add additional uh, dimensions you can always use our uh, dimensioning tools which is uh, add row so over all dimensions modify there go. and then add row let's say uh, filter loop modify Move up, modify. So I have now the uh, dimensions of the loop, and I have the annotation. And then one, and then let's say we save this one. Save. So I'm going to save the view properties, and then um, apply it. And then I'm going to apply the same setting in our section. So all we have to do is simply go to the cre view creation. And then here, the front view, I will choose the one that I saved, which is uh, uh, YouTube. And then on the plan, I'm going to use the YouTube section also. YouTube. And say yes modify okay and there you go or this is how you add the annotation and dimensions in our drawing thank you